here with designer and author Kate Richberg. Welcome, Kate. Hi, how are you, Katie? Yeah, great, and I love the sampler that you're doing this series. So I'm really excited about today's, which is granules and dots. That's right. And you always have great ideas for simple soldering. Well, simple soldering's kind of my thing. I want to bring soldering to the world. I love it. So, yes, the granules and dots, I use them all the time in my pieces. So this is the little sampler that we're actually going to be doing. And I think it's really a, a, a great way to embellish the little granules and yeah, the dots. Yeah, it really takes your designs to the next level, too. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of extra, like this ring, where it, it has kind of a little look of rivets, but this is actually a piece that you soldered on. Yeah, and the little dots are right there, and they do. They're like little faux rivets. I think they look terrific. Me, too. And the dots, too. That dresses it right up. Yeah, the little granules right here, these actually... Actually, um, I think just add kind of a little, a little flair, you know. Right. Instead of adding like a little jewel, just put a granule on it. Love it. And this one has the big ones. Yeah, this one has a nice big, those nice big granules on it, so you can really see them. But they're all done in the same way, regardless of what size the granule is. Okay. Well, how do we get started? Well, for the granules, I uh, actually use some fine silver wire, and the gauge doesn't really matter. You can use whatever gauge you'd like. This is a heavier, maybe like a 14 gauge. But and it so, will affect the size, right? So if you are if you want to end up with a little bit bigger granule, you would need to start out with a larger size of wire. Right. Or just cut yourself a longer piece oh, of okay. wire as well. Okay. So just kind of experiment around. I really say just use the scrap that you have out of your little scrap bin. And so you just want to cut that wire up in little pieces with your uh, wire cutter. And I've come over here onto my soldering surface, my kiln brick, and I've laid those granules out just like so, or those little wires that are going to become the granules. I've laid them right out here. And so you know how you don't really want to melt your wire or melt your uh, metal when you're soldering? This time we do. So we're going to melt oh, okay. these up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my butane microtorch. We're going to slide this on here. And we're just going to come on right on down and I'm going to hit that little piece of fine silver wire with the flame of my torch. And you're going to see it start to really glow. And see how it balls up right on itself? Yes. When that fine silver heats, it just draws itself up into a little ball. So there's no way that you can go wrong doing this. So if you held your torch too long, it wouldn't just go into a blob? No, it would just see how if I just keep it there and keep it there, it just still stays in that ball. That is neat. Isn't it cool? The wire just wants to ball up yes. into little, little So guys. I just want to point out the safety tips. We are mm -hmm. wearing our glasses and you're working on a heat resistant surface. That's exactly right. And we want to make sure to have our little fire extinguisher nearby. So just water. Just in case. Just water. And I've just quenched them right in my little water bowl. And you can see here, I have some granules ready to go for our next step. So once we've gone ahead and um, worked with that fine silver and balled those guys up, I'm going to turn my kiln brick over so it's nice and cool. And you don't polish them or anything before you solder? No, exactly, because with fine silver, they're nice and shiny. Great. So what I've done here is we can look at the little tile. Now, I've prepared this for my granules. And what I did was, and this is the key, this is the trick. I've made a little divot here with my, uh, I made a little center punch with an old nail. I just filed it down. And all I do is I place that nail wherever I want a granule, and I go ahead and I strike it with a hammer. And of course, I do that on a bench block, not on my kiln brick. Right. But it just makes a little place for my granules to rest. Okay, so it's kind of like your piercing. It's not piercing through, but it's a little bit starter. Yeah, I'm starter. Just, yeah, making a little place for them to sit. So yeah, it gives it a nice little indentation. And so now I pick up my um, little granule very carefully with my tweezers. And I'm gonna go ahead, I used paste solder for this. Because it adheres a little bit more. Yeah, and it makes it stick, just easy to, to handle. easier to handle. So I've got my, you can see, my um, paste solder is right on there. And I'm going to come in, and I'm going to carefully just drop it down. So you just want to make sure that you get it in that indentation. Right. And if I need to coax it a little bit, I can use my solder pick or my, my tweezers. OK. And I would just continue to place these, place these on. And you know, I always make a few extra granules, Katie, because sometimes when I pinch these granules with my tweezers, they want to go flying off into space. So, so if you have some extras, you're prepared for yeah, emergencies. Yeah, exactly. It's always a good thing. And so you just coax them along. You just place them in and put them, put them where you want. Okay. So shall we? Yes. Let's, shall we go for it? Let's solder them. Now, just in a similar manner that you did with your 
uh, making your granules. We're going to turn on our torch. And we're just going to slowly bring that torch on down to the tile. And this is one of the sampler tiles. And I'm just going to come in and now I'm really, see oh, how they settle? Goes. There they go. Boom. And we're done. And you know it's done. Yep. Because we saw that solder run and we are good to go. Now here comes the fun part where we just quench it. And you can Ooh, wow. see, yeah, I'm going to grab it out there. And you can see our little, that our little so, granules. So cool. I love yeah, it. So really super simple. Easy. Yeah. And so if you wanted to do dots like you did on your sampler, yeah, it's a similar technique, It's right? a similar technique. All I do is I get a little piece of scrap metal and I use my screw down hole punch here to cut little dots out of that metal. And they're real teeny, but that same thing as you did with granules. I would just come in, put a little bit of solder, paste solder right on the back, and then just place them around wherever I wanted in a pattern that was nice. And you can see here on this ring band, that's what I did. And it just looks like a little faux rivet. You know, yeah, it's kind of cool. It does. And I really like how you made the daisy design on this sampler square. Yeah. That is so cute. And in your book, you had some samples using that pattern yeah. as a motif, which yeah. I think is a great idea. On, and you know, like in my little, my little ring, oh, yeah, I have them right here in the center. So I think they just add kind of a nice little flair yeah, to what's really going do. on. Yeah, they do. And if, does it matter really quickly? Does it matter what metal you cut that out of? No, not at all. Uh, you can use any of the jewelry metals, copper, brass, silver, it Thickness. all works. Thickness, whatever you like. Thank you so much, Kate. And we will be right back.